Ahmed, lot of names made. So um, here it is, a book presentation, um, uh, how to get the video, the uh, audible film. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, you are full, you are full, yours is full, that's what I'm telling you, mine it's not too, so here it is, you can take, you can buy it audible, you can listen, see, here, down, here, below, below the book, one can listen to the book, and you can listen to it in your, uh, in your uh, cars, and here it is on Amazon.com, it is Engagement, Society, Philanthropy, Romania, in Mexico. No, as so. Es romanul, if you want to buy it, Ninja, show me Romano. Von, ot von de ot von I have a book in Romania too. It's uh, my my doc my thesis there, master degree thesis. It's called Obiceiuri folclorice in Romania de naștere, bote și de moarte. Obiceiuri. Știi do? So all. Na ne izme glatod. No, the, are you ready? Can you help me or not? Because this, can you help me, Jim? Mine Mac for Colony. Was the name just Mac for Colony? Just Okay, just leave it there. So, can you bring yours and let's explain it? So, here is the audio book you can get, and here is a paperback. You can get it in paperback. Well, I haven't got it turned on yet. <laughs> He's mad me, but I mean, it's gonna. The train is passing by. But you're, 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 you're and here the paperback side, is twenty three dollars sixty cents. Side. Yes, yes. So the title is Civic right, Engagement, right. Civil Society, and Philanthropy in the United States of America, Romania, and Mexico. Uh, this book has appeared in 2019, and it's about the process of globalization, and right now we're entering a cycle and trend of deglobalization. But tourism, the tourism industry is going down, as well as the banking industry, are provoking a terrible economic crisis. The definition of globalization is basically standardization of services, all the services, uh, banking services, tourism services, uh, teaching services, and the book has seven chapters, and the second chapter deals with civic and civil society, uh, that is how to get rid of dictators and leaders who are lying to us, basically the rise of foundation where people come together and develop a strategy by which you have transparency in the government like the soros george soros uh, nonprofit foundations uh, which are now separate foundations they don't no longer are being financed by anybody but themselves and people are trying to forge hands together like women today for the international women we had 80,000 women getting out in the piazza uh, piazzetta in mexico city and fighting uh, the president because he's not doing anything anything against the genocide femicide it's called femicide feminine usideres uh, killing women that's what's happening in mexico right now and chile has another 150,000 women jim 150,000 women went out. 135,000 on strike. Are on strike, not going to work, not cooking. This is one day without women. One day women will not be in your life because they are being killed in terrible manner in Mexico. Femicide, uh, femicide, yeah. It's called a femicide against women. And this has been going on for 10 years now few people are talking about but it's a tragedy it's a tragedy and that's why i'm mentioning it because of the international women's day um, where women get together it's a it, it's engagement it's civic society out in the streets and they are basically uh, protesting the government and uh, a president who is not doing absolutely anything for for them 
and for the situation of the women in the world, which is becoming mm -hmm. more tragic and more tragic. So they're making civic engagement. So they, they are, are making the civic engagement and conjuring up into the civil society and uh, fighting back uh, governmental uh, uh, negativism and lack of lack of uh, leadership in Mexico and Chile well, and many other countries. They are they are killing women. Dictators don't want civic engagement because they want to tell the citizens what to do, and and they don't want civic engagement involves the philanthropy like the Soros Foundation, the Ford Foundation give money to help people but for that you have to have wealth you have to create wealth in order to donate and to give to these foundations you have first to have millions of dollars like the gates foundation and uh, all all these uh, great foundations so that are was kicked there. out of russia because and <laughs> hungary so because was kicked was out of hungary to, everywhere to demand their rights right so this is one of the uh, one of the books that we were talking about and uh, this is the second book, Globalization is uh, Amplifies. And uh, this is the one um, in Spanish, which I highly recommend. It's um, a great, it takes a great look at Romania, uh, post-dictatorship, uh, Ceausescu age, and uh, including Mexico. What's the title? It's called La Globalización se amplía, claroscuros de los nexos globales, uh, which means uh, globalization amplifies. So now we are assisting uh, at a terrible, nowadays, this is 2020, we assisting um, a deflation and deglobalization process where all the countries are trying to rearrange their chess games on the chessboard. Well, Deglobalization de de claims that there is no more globalization. De but what has happened, and as you're saying, is reglobalization. We are reglobalizing right now without China. Without Take out new, secrecy, a secret country with uh, terrible products. I bought so many things from China and none of them is good, not even to, up to this day. Not even my camera is good that I wanted to take a video with. It's made in China. It's right there. <laughs> no, it was made Apple, in Japan, but sold in China. Apple, all of Apple's phones are... Apple phones are kaput, are okay. terminated. They yeah. don't work. They well, don't work. Another, products, you cannot get any replacement products. Zero. China's so, shut down, so there's nothing being produced. This is why the, the re-globalization involves the... the, 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 the the chain of there's Dr. James Wilkie speaking there, <laughs> the, the chain, founder of Program of the Mexico. Supply chain is going to shift. interrupted. The supply chain, the manufacturing is terribly okay, but affected. So it's shifting from China to Mexico, tourism, India, and and uh, um, Mexico is going to take advantage of this right. situation because Mexico is a good manufacturing and place, and Vietnam, and it looks like including India, it's taking big big advantage of this uh, decay of, of, of products manufacturing in China. And Mexico is always stood up to the table. Look, NAFTA too has passed. They're gonna save the US economy from a terrible collapse. So thank you very much. Please check out Civic Engagement Civil Society Philanthropy in the USA and Mexico, free trade blocks. This one is about free trade blocks and arrangements which help people get products cheaper and better. Thank you very much. Okay. This is it, olgalazin.com. Thank you. Olgalazin.com, thanks. Kusunum sepen, honey.